Welcome to Breaking Wire. Today we're diving into Japan's bold leap into the future of military aviation. The nation has unveiled plans for a sixth-generation fighter jet. More than just an upgrade, it's a complete reimagining of air combat. This jet is set to replace Japan's aging F-2 fleet, bringing advanced stealth, powerful engines, and cutting-edge sensor fusion. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries leads the project, working with international partners to push the boundaries of aerospace innovation. The fighter isn't just hardware, it's a symbol of Japan's commitment to self-defense and technological leadership in the Indo-Pacific. This project will strengthen Japan's industrial base and ensure it remains at the forefront of aerospace for decades. The announcement signals Japan's intent to maintain a qualitative military edge in a rapidly changing world. Air superiority is no longer guaranteed, and this aircraft is designed to keep Japan's air self-defense force decisive and effective. As we explore the details, it's clear this fighter is the centerpiece of a new defense strategy and a testament to international collaboration. It's a bold move sending a powerful message across the globe. Japan is shaping its own destiny, investing in the future of its security. Let's look at how this next-generation jet is coming together. Japan's new fighter is the heart of the Global Combat Air Program or GCGAP, a groundbreaking partnership with the UK and Italy. Announced in 2022, GCCAP merges the technological strengths of Europe and Asia to develop a sixth-generation fighter for all three nations. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, BAE Systems and Leonardo are working as equals, ensuring no single country dominates the project. This collaboration pools resources, shares expertise, and accelerates development, aiming for operational readiness by 2035. The world isn't waiting, potential adversaries are advancing fast, so GCAP is a race to maintain a technological edge. The alliance is about more than a single jet, it's forging long-term defense and industrial ties between Europe and the Indo-Pacific. GCAP will create jobs, drive innovation in AI and advanced materials, and deepen strategic relationships. It's a new axis in global defense, not solely reliant on the US-led framework. This partnership is a strategic masterstroke, building a resilient coalition for the security challenges ahead. Together these nations are redefining how next-generation defense projects are built. What sets this sixth-generation fighter apart? It starts with stealth, sleek, angular lines minimize radar detection, Twin engines deliver supersonic speed without afterburners, combining stealth and performance for survival in high-threat environments. The GCCAP jet will fly farther and carry more weapons than today's fighters, nearly triple the range and double the payload of an F-35. This reach is vital for operations across the vast Indo-Pacific. The real revolution, it acts as a network command center, controlling swarms of autonomous drones as loyal wingmen. The pilot can send drones to scout, jam or strike, multiplying situational awareness and combat power. Advanced AI in the cockpit manages data from sensors and drones, reducing pilot workload and speeding up decision-making. Next-gen electronic warfare and directed energy weapons will blind enemy defenses. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a generational leap in air combat. The GSCAP fighter turns a single jet into the leader of a coordinated aerial team. It's the future of warfare realized. Japan's investment in this fighter is a direct response to a tense regional security environment. China's rapid military modernization, including stealth fighters and advanced missiles, is a major driver. To deter and defend, Japan needs technology that outpaces these threats. Russia and North Korea add to the pressure with ongoing military activity and missile development near Japan's borders. The GCAP fighter ensures Japan's air force remains credible and capable signaling that aggression will come at a high cost. It's about self-reliance and being a proactive force for stability in the region and beyond. Japan could have bought the new American F-47 or expanded its F-35 fleet, but chose a different path. By co-developing with the UK and Italy, Japan gained sovereign control over the fighter's technology and source codes. This autonomy lets Japan upgrade and maintain the jet independently, avoiding the black box problem of foreign systems. Leading GCCAP boosts Japan's defense industry, creating high-tech jobs and expertise that spill over into other sectors. Buying American would have sent billions overseas and missed a generational opportunity for domestic growth. The project also diversifies Japan's partnerships, strengthening ties with Europe and building a broader coalition of democracies. This isn't a move away from the US, but a step toward a more globally connected capable Japan. 
GCCAP is about shaping the future, not just following it. Japan is now a co-creator, not just a customer of world-class military technology, it's a strategic leap forward. GCAP is as innovative in manufacturing as it is in design. The program explores recycling retired jets for valuable materials, using advanced 3D printing to build new parts, cutting costs and boosting sustainability. Digital engineering and modular design make the fighter more affordable and easier to produce in numbers. This approach has caught global attention. Countries like Saudi Arabia and Canada are eyeing potential participation. GCAP's open collaborative model offers an alternative to being locked into a single supplier. In summary, Japan's sixth generation fighter is a bold step into the future, combining technology, strategy, and partnership. Through GCCAP, Japan is building not just a jet, but a stronger defense industry and a safer world. The message is clear. Japan is ready to soar into a new era of security and innovation.